This thing absolutely blew my mind. I don't remember the last thing I was so impressed with anything. Now we are talking about chat GPT. A lot of people are talking about it. A lot of people are saying what it is and all that. I'll directly jump into basically how it will help digital marketers. I think it has been developed in such a way to design it like a, as a chat bot because to feel that you're talking to someone and you literally feel that while you're interacting with this chat bot. So let me go ahead and see, for example, as a digital marketer, how can it help in day to day life? And I'll show you. I'll start with the basics. OK, so once you go here, chat open you're landed here on this uh, particular screen. OK, so let's start with this. Give me some ideas of YouTube video titles for a digital marketing YouTube channel. 10 ways to improve your website's SEO, the ultimate guide to social media advertising, how to create a successful email marketing campaign. Honestly, I have been working on YouTube for one and a half year on uh, this channel. These ideas look good. The top trends in digital marketing for 2023. <clears throat> this is amazing. Some of the channels are already doing this and they're getting good number of views. This is crazy. Let's take it to uh, one level up <clears throat> because you can go to Google and probably find this information, right? But see what's the game changer here. Talking points for each of them. I don't need to explain anything. Give me the, the YouTube titles with talking points. It already remembers what we are talking about. So I just have to tell. Tell me talking points for each of them. <clears throat> okay, the first one. 10 ways to improve your website SEO. These are the talking points. The importance of keyword research. The role of on-page optimization. The benefits of using header tags and meta description. Then the second topic from here. The ultimate guide of uh, to social media advertising. And the talking points what guys this is something crazy imagine i mean you don't even need to do anything it'll give you ideas it'll give you talking points if you ask it to explain any of these it'll even give that if you want to do a faceless channel it will give you the whole script you just have to record it this is crazy now let's move to the, our next step some basic questions write me an ad copy for a dating app Okay, now, are you looking for a soulmate? Look no further. Our dating app is designed to help you perfect match with a simple swipe. You can connect with other singles and stuff. Now, the good thing is when I talk to this chatbot again, when I give another command or, or another input, it remembers the conversation we had before. So, for example, I don't need to go ahead and make changes to my question if I want changes. Let's say, for example, I forgot to mention that this dating app is for uh, senior citizens. Write the copy for senior citizens and make it shorter. That's it. You don't need to explain. It already remembers what you um, discussed before. Okay, it made it short. Looking for love, our senior friendly dating app makes it easy to meet, uh, meet new people and find your match. Sign up now and start connecting with other seniors in your area. Okay, maybe this is too much about senior seniors. Okay, uh, make it a bit decent and romantic. Are you a senior looking for love or dating app is perfect place to find a companion? Okay, now it started using words like companion. With just a swipe, you can uh, connect with other seniors in your area and start a romantic conversation. Sign up and take the first step towards finding your happily ever after. Um, years and make it shorter. Looking for love in your golden years? Our dating app makes it easy to meet new people and find your match. Sign up now and start connecting with other seniors. Happy dating. Now, I, I mean, no matter how smart the uh, copywriter is, because I have interacted with a lot in my past, this is so fast. And I'm telling this chatbot, okay, focus on this, make it short, focus on senior citizens. This is really amazing. I mean, the way it interacts, the way it remembers. So you, you don't need a copywriter anymore, honestly, if you are just... You don't have a lot of branding guidelines and you don't have to take care of brand positioning, which most of the companies don't. Whenever we used to work with um, clients and they used to ask us to redesign kind of uh, their uh, ads, they already had like a campaign, offline campaign. They used to come to us to kind of adapt in digital banners. We used to struggle a lot how to make it one line. And I think if we had this at that point, 
it would be super easy okay let's uh let's go ahead that's about ad copies okay let's move to our next step how it can help us to kind of understand if we are researching about creating a campaign let's say for example okay let me ask you what are the best digital marketing campaigns of all the time let's see to get in let's say i'm looking for inspiration right i have to design a new campaign what it is about there have been many successful digital marketing campaigns over the years some of them most notable include old spice the man you could man could smell like honestly this i remember this campaign dove real beauty i think i remember this as well red bulls um Star stratos i don't know about this apple's 1984 commercial a uh, woman running big brother like figures is considered a masterpiece of advertising coca cola share a coke campaign which featured bottles and cans with people name on on them talk specifically about automotive brands okay there have been many successful digital marketing campaigns by automotive brands over the years some notable examples are toyota uh, the longest chase ford the fun theory uh, volkswagen the force vader attempting to use the force to start a volkswagen passat the commercial became a virtual hit and was viewed millions of times on youtube imagine i mean this is something next level okay now that was about uh, research and stuff now let's uh, go to one level up and ask about write me a blog differences between campaign manager 360 and dv360 you don't even need to write blogs anymore okay campaign manager and dv360 are two digital advertising platforms that are often used by businesses to reach their did targeting and guide drive conversions while both platforms have similar capabilities there are some key differences that advertisers should be aware of one of the main differences is the the, the platform display advertising which means it allows businesses to create and serve ads on websites and other dv and then a uh, second one is another key difference between the two platforms is the way they target audiences in campaign manager 360 allows advertisers to target users based on factors such as their interest demographics and behaviors dv360 on the other hand offers more advanced targeting capabilities that allow advertisers to reach specific audiences in terms of uh, ad formats this i mean the way it started the blog and the way it's writing the points it's beyond amazing i can just copy paste it directly to a blog but one thing i observed is let's say for example um can you mention these in bullet points sure here are the key differences you feel like you're talking to someone who has sense um sure here are the key differences cm is a platform for display while dv360 is a platform for uh, video advertising cm is this 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 i can use this i mean it's not just for blog i can just directly use this to create a video differences between campaign manager 360 and dv360 it already listed these uh, talking points for me i don't have to research i directly go i mean i already have the uh, structure of my uh, video so for example then i can say uh, add conclusion to this Okay. let's say for example you are using a blog you pasted the first thing then the second thing and now you have to paste the conclusion in conclusion campaign manager 360 and dv360 are two powerful digital advertising platforms that offer a range of capabilities to help businesses reach their target audience and drive conversions while both platforms offer similar features they are designed to uh, serve different purposes and target audiences advertisers should carefully consider their advertising goals and objective before deciding which platform is right for them both campaign manager 360 and dv360 offer robust analytics and reporting tools that offer advertisers to track performance this is uh, amazing okay uh, let's go to one more uh, level up and see how it uh, reacts i know you have to go and try a lot of stuff this is beyond i mean the i cannot even think of i'm still thinking about the different kind of scenarios i can ask and uh, interact with this chatbot but just i listed some and i tested some so the next level is let's say for example i'll ask uh, what are the most commonly used interview questions for digital marketing roles 
here are some commonly asked interview questions for digital marketing roles can you explain what digital marketing is and how it differs from traditional marketing can you describe some strategies for creating and executing a digital marketing campaign okay uh, can you discuss the role of mobile marketing in digital marketing and can it be used to reach the engage with customers uh, can you tell me 10 more questions let's say these 10 i mean this i asked it generic questions like for digital marketing roles right and see here it's starting from uh, point number 11 because the last uh, the last one was 10 and here it remembers the whole conversation and now it's starting with 11 okay <clears throat> can you describe some best practices for managing and analyzing customer data in digital marketing i mean this is amazing uh, can you be specific to PPC roles? <clears throat> I'm trying to understand what are the limitations of this platform. This is crazy. Can you explain what PPC is and how it differs from other form of advertising? Uh, how do you measure the success of a PPC campaign and what metrics do you use? Can you describe some common challenges that businesses face in PPC and how you would address them? Oh my God, this kind of question, if you're going for an interview and you look at these questions and kind of prepare for them, this is, uh, this is crazy. Okay, let me check this. Can you add some scenario based questions? And guys, one thing you have to understand is this chatbot does not interact with internet. So for example, right now I'm asking these questions. It does not get this information from internet right away in the real time because this all this information has been fed to this. So it I am interacting with it using internet, but it does not take this information from internet. Sure, here are some scenario based questions that could be used in an interview for a PPC role. You are managing a PPC campaign for an e-commerce website. The website sells a wide range of products. But the campaign is not performing well. How would you diagnose a problem? What steps would you take to improve the campaign? You are managing a PPC campaign for a local business that offers services in a high competitive market. This business is struggling to stay ahead of its competitors. How would you use PPC to help the business gain an advantage? I want you to go ahead and check this for yourself, different scenarios. But let me make it a bit more... Uh, related to art than uh, the information for example this is probably maybe you can go to google and search for these things as well right but let, let's take it a step further and start asking a uh, kind of opinions though it will tell you that i don't have any opinion about these specific things but let, let me phrase this question um what color should i use as background of my app which is a dating app for senior citizens oh, i did when choosing a background color for a dating app for senior citizens it's important to consider the age and preferences of the target audience older adults may have a different visual preferences and abilities than younger people so it's important to choose a color that's easy on the eyes and does not cause strain and or discomfort one option could be to use a soft neutral color such as light blue or pale green as the background color for the app. These colors are calming and easy on the eyes which can help senior citizens. Another option could be use a warm inviting color such as peach or light yellow as a background color for the app. These colors are create welcoming and friendly atmosphere which can help senior citizens feel more at ease and encourage them to use the app. Overall, the best background color for dating app for seniors depends on the specific design and branding of the app. It's most important to choose a color that's easy to read, visually appealing and in line with the overall. I feel like I'm talking to a very uh, smart friend um, or a consultant. Like look at the structure of the answer. First, it tells you what you should consider so that you can think on your own as well. Then it gives you two options. Okay, if we consider this as priority that senior citizens have issues with, um, I mean, uh, the vision or whatever, the then it gives you one opinion. That Then it tells you that if your priority is to make them feel warm and welcome, then this is the color I suggest. And over, then overall that, okay, you know what? Nobody can tell you one color. I gave you two options, but still nobody can tell you because this is what you have to consider. That's the last paragraph. 
look at this structure this is amazing okay now let me go to the last uh, step to check for example i'm running a ppc campaign for a client who are an edtech company and provide courses right so let's go ahead and see uh, what kind of do people do when looking to upskill and grow in their career i'm just writing anything <laughs> my questions are becoming uh, tougher when looking to upskill and grow their career often search keywords phrases uh, people search phrases related to learning and development for example career development courses professional development training online learning platforms so this is a starting point if you are doing this kind of research this is a starting point for example i could never think about continuing education i mean this is a keyword i i can i mean i can say that some people would use these keywords but it would never cross my mind if i was doing research uh, the searches indicate that people are looking for resources tools and guidance that can help them to improve their skills and advance in their career by understanding the common searches and keywords that people use when looking top skill business organizations can create content and resources that are relevant helpful to their audience okay be specific to people working in hospitality industry i don't have to repeat the question uh, for example if i was doing in google i would have to again repeat the question then uh, add for specifically uh, for people working in hospitality industry but here i don't need to do anything like that i just say i feel like i'm talking to a very smart person or a friend it feels like a conversation when looking to upskill and grow in hospitality industry people often search for keywords like hospitality management courses food and beverage training i didn't know something like this exists uh, hotel management certification hotel leadership development hotel job skills hotel resume tips hospitality network events hospitality career advancement i mean i'm just giving you an ideas like for example how it can help to write copies how it can give you ideas and inspiration about creating campaigns how you can even write blogs can tell it can you just give me this information in a form in a table in um, the bullet points like i mentioned then um, interview questions then uh, what color should i use opinions keyword research so guys i hope you were inspired by this as well and you were impressed as well and that's all for this video thank you so much i will see you in the next one